we need it, we want it. Vacation, we own it. Surf, beach, palm, tree, got no worries. Good morning, it's 9.30. Let's take a shower. 30 minute shower I took. It's a long shower for me, usually a long, uh, sufficient shower is, um, actually the shower wasn't that long. It was prep before the shower because I would put on some nair, did my toilet stuff. Um, anyway, got to get my hair goop on. Okay, again, testing out the Aunt Jackie's Buttercream Intensive Moisture Sealant. Intensive Moisture Sealant. All right. So, again, I, today, oops, I go to uh, my friend Dan's club to check out his clubhouse for hosting board games and stuff you know for adults not for adults but with adults you know so that we can have some time away from thinking about work or whatever just to get to that's how we have friends you know adults have friends um, most parents end up not having friends and it's because of their children. I'm just being honest. It's the facts. You have children. Sometimes you just tend to not be friends with people because the, either they don't have kids or they also have children and their children are taking up their time also. Children take a lot of time. They're demanding people most of the time. Until they get to like between the ages of 14 and, and 16, they have like a job and they, they can like walk or drive to their job. They're not as demanding because they have a job and they can they do their job, you know, unless they need a ride to their job. When I was 16, I didn't have my license just yet. Um, I worked at what was Cups Food Center, which is a grocery store. It is now Pick and Save, which I understand is being bought by somebody. I can't think. Who was it? Pick and Save being bought out by somebody. Anyway, um, 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 Metro Market? No, I don't remember. Anyways, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, I had to ride my bike. One summer, I couldn't get any rides from my parents and I didn't have my driver's license, so I ride my bike there, which was like an hour dry bike ride there. Yeah, mom's like, you take your bike. Cause you know, both my parents worked. So if I worked during the day, I would have to ride my bike because obviously they're working and you know and I couldn't take the bus for some reason it was cheaper because I would have had to buy it anyway it doesn't matter I would ride my bike oh hello look a ceiling so oh, anywho what am I trying to say here uh, kids they take up your time so, being adults, we put together game nights or getaways in a hotel or something at a hotel. Yeah, you know, we get away from our children's because sometimes adults need to be adults and not children. They're not with their children. And sometimes you have like little children, so you need a sitter. You can only have a sitter for you know so many hours unless you have like a nanny so the difference between a sitter and a nanny I think a sitter is just like daytime into into early nighttime um, and then a nanny is like round the clock almost 
So yeah, uh, I could, you know, I could be a nanny. I could. I like kids. I don't have any of my own, so I'd be free to be a nanny with, for somebody. Do I have any nanny credentials? No, but I'm really good with kids, which is what, but, like, what else are you supposed to say? I understand child development. Um, this is gross. I'm gonna have to clean. You ever get your deodorant looking like this? Like a deodorant goop right there? You gotta clean that off. Alright, well, anyways, I'm gonna get dressed now, and uh, that's it for what I'm doing right now. Alright, good afternoon. Uh, so I checked out Dan's clubhouse place. It is perfect. It has ample space and it even has like a full-on kitchen, stove, microwave, you know, the stuff kitchens have. Uh, speaking of which, I'm just looking in my refrigerator here. It's mostly beer and condiments. Soda, beer, condiments. Oh, what's here? Let me find out. Oh, yeah. I've got um, some sausage left over. I'm going to eat that. Anyway, I went to Dan's place, checked out the, um, the place, and it's perfect. So now I just got to figure out. I got to ask Russ when his um, tournament is in September. And we'll plan accordingly so that he'll be able to join us for a, like a game night. Board games, card games, um, talking with people, whatever you gotta do. All that kind of stuff. Alright, now I left this bread out. I think it's stale. This one is. Went pretty hard. The rest of them seem to be okay. I guess I could make toast. Um, I don't know. Um, I've got four patties. I'm gonna reheat them in the air fryer because it just seems like the best way to do that. And I'm just gonna throw this bread outside because you know birds. Um, yeah, it's going to rain. The temperature has dropped. And, uh, look at this thing. What is this plant? Going from there up to over here. What is that? Like all this. Like here's the same thing. What are you? Why are you here? I hate it. Uh, if we ever get a chance, whenever we get a chance to move, we're not going to have neighbors right next door like this. I don't want to be able to see my neighbor's house. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Hey, kitty. I'm trying to come outside. You can't go outside. It's nice out. It's just cloudy and it's gonna rain. Which is not bad, you know, unless you live in a place that just gets humid right away afterwards. Looking at you, Florida. All right, so this should be done. Yep, looks good. Okie doke, I'm gonna eat my sausage and bread. I don't know. Buttered bread is probably not the best snack, right, Kitty? But it's good snack. It's probably better than, like, you know, cookies or something. But you know how starches metabolize into sugars and stuff. Ugh. This couch we got for free, so I can't complain. But I am gonna. The cushions don't stay where I want them to. 
when you're sitting in the cushion. If you scoot off the couch, the cushion comes with you almost. All right, TV time. I totally forgot we had Prime and that Russ control, uh, put, controlled the remote so you push this button, it'll go to Prime on the TV so I don't have to worry about like what the login is or anything like that or connect to Bluetooth and all that jazz. So I'm on Prime now and I'm watching a movie I just started called Pain and Gain starring Dwayne Rock Johnson and um uh what's the guy what's the guy, what's the guy? Channing Channing Tatum yeah Channing Tatum um and there's a third person but I don't know who it is yet anyway I am watching that and shenanigans and funny stuff is supposed to happen okay it's not Dwayne Johnson it's uh, the guy who plays uh, the, the flying one in, in Avengers. Why can't I think of his name? Something. Oh, dang it. I'll think of it. Anthony Mackie. That's who it is. Anthony Mackie. Then correct it again. The Rock is in this. Anthony Mackie, The Rock, and um, White Boy. Channing Tatum. Uh, what? I just saw Russ's truck. He asked me to park on the street, which I did. I just saw Russ's truck back up, heard some yelling, he moved forward. Let me figure out what's going on. All's fine. He was yelling at a bush. Uh, so that movie Pain and Gain is based on actual events. Um, the three people, they were, uh, one of them just got out of prison. The other one worked at a uh, as a fitness trainer, and another one worked at some donut shop or something. But he went to the gym on a regular basis, trained by this guy. Anyway, the fitness trainer played it's Mark Wahlberg. Who did I say it was? Channing Tatum? No, it's Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne Johnson, and Anthony Mackie. Those were the stars. So Mark Wahlberg was the trainer guy. Dwayne Johnson was the ex-prisoner. And Anthony Mackie was just the idiot guy. Anyway, uh, they decided to uh, rob this one dude who um, Mark Wahlberg's character was um, training. Cause he talked about all this and he just wanted all this stuff so lots of shenanigan things they tried to kill him and they were unsuccessful in killing the guy they did get him they tortured him and and got him to sign all of his paperwork over and then a really bad um notary republic or notary public that was like bad at his job or whatever uh he uh, Oh, approved the paperwork to transfer the accounts into Mark Wahlberg's character name. Um, it was just, it was not uh, good. Anyway, it wasn't good. The, now, the movie was good. I'm talking about the situation they put themselves in. It's not good. They ended up killing three people. Um, and they end up in prison. And, uh, you know it's definitely a good movie of what not to do when you're trying to pull off a heist or steal identity how about you know don't do it at all that's kind of the thing what else should I watch
I can't find my tripod again. No idea what happened to it. But you can see here, I'm set up for baking. What am I doing? We are making banana bread. I'm thirsty. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Put in a bowl, one and a half cups of flour. One teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, whisk. Now, two beaten eggs. Quarter cup melted butter. Three ripe, overripe, smushed bananas. Okay. Put it in a pan seven uh 8.5 by whatever put it in a bread pan put it in the oven at 350 for one hour big surf and turf night kitty's trying to eat my food eating a surf and turf with the with the uh, pan sauce, pan reduction sauce, it's delish. And ending my night, watching Password. Tomorrow I bring banana bread to mom and Kevin's house. So we'll see you tomorrow and have yourself a good night. Toodles.